So we, we just we ran away to Nick, right? And you said your engineering background, and you said, "Oh, you happen to mention Bruce, your calf, new calf feeding system." Yeah. And I thought you were going to pick out a branded feeding system, but no, this is the it Bruce is Thompson. Branded. This is branded. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is the Camtoon Dairy Limited feeding yeah, system. Yeah. Tell people what we're looking at here, Bruce, so, and it, okay, we're going looking at calves. But this is how you feed ca dairy calves here in the farm. Yeah, this is a 500 litre tank. Okay. And on top of it, there's a, a thermostatic filling valve okay which is set at 39 degrees okay you open a big valve and it fills up yeah throw in your milk powder there's a, a, a mixer that i got out of woody's okay plaster mixer fitted into it okay that whisks it up in 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 a i'd say in under a minute it has the thing mixed so it just fills. mixes all your milk here all the milk yeah and um Right and you fill it from up, up, it, up, up. And of course we put our, our microbes in at that point. Oh, very good, yeah, yeah. 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 I didn't pay him to say that, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, but so this is homemade? Homemade, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, so what was, the, what was the notion, like what, in the name of God, get someone to think, right, I'm going to design my own calf feeding system here? Well, we, we, we had a computer system, which we took out. We decided to make everything big and simple. Okay. Yeah, a bit like myself. <laughs> <laughs> Not that big. <laughs> small and simple. Yeah, small and simple. Yeah, thanks, Tommy, <laughs> for the correction. Uh, but if, you know, big pipes, big tanks. Okay. Big no chance. Either. No, no, no chance of things breaking. No chance of things breaking. Baler twine, screws, bolts, um, all that sort of stuff. Just make it big and, and simple. Okay. Um, and then there's a 63 mil pipe there that goes out the wall and sends the, the milk out to the calf feeder, which we okay. trail around with an 80 point calf feeder. So you have the 80 point trailer and you're yeah. just in and calves around. Yeah, yeah, all done in a few minutes. So the engineering wasn't wasted after yeah. all. Yeah. <laughs> Where does the pipe go then? There, On... that's it, at the wall. Oh, you feed it here? Yeah, so we just, no, we, we bring the trail feeder. Okay. Because um, the calves are out in the field. So the trail feeder comes down here it, then. You drop that. And this is the end, end result. Yeah, that, that drops it in. So it fills it in a minute. Yeah. Every morning you fill up your yeah. Your tank? Yeah. Very interesting. We're here with Nick now. We're after being down with Bruce, seeing um, seeing his engineering skills in the calf feeder. Nick, um, thank you very much for uh, coming on to the camera here this morning with us. Can you tell people a little bit about yourself? Who are you and what's your role in the farm here in Cam Clun, Dairy yeah. Limited? Yeah, well, I'm here with Bruce and Ian and the team here the last seven years or more now. Yeah. So part of the furniture, I suppose, at this stage. A, a massive, uh, like you're, you're, you're a farm manager here and you're a massive addition to the team. I've got to know you as well. Very passionate about, about dairy farming. You're going to talk to me, Nick, a little bit about, I suppose, look, people will know this. These are the three stragglers. We're at the end of calving here. Yeah. W what we've done with a lot of customers is we've talked about ca specific calf rearing things that you do. Maybe there's some tips people can pick up along the way here. Uh, calving area, loose straw bedding. Yeah, loose straw bedding. Whatever we could fit, maybe 15 to 20 cows here. Okay. And then as cordon as the calf, you come in and snatch the calf, go out the door here with the twin wheel wheelbarrow, and we weigh the calves. We'll go in here and have a look yeah. at what you do. So we'll go <coughs> through the actual, so cow calves, she's uh, calf snatched, and you're in here then? Yeah, yeah, we've uh, weighing scales here. Okay, so it's, this is typical. There's a lot of engineering going on in this farm. <laughs> <part. laughs> right, so so yeah. you, this is preset weight on this, right? Yeah. So you go up, uh, well, Bruce has, look, Bruce has is re he's ready to come in with the wheelbarrow. This is, anything can happen in this kind of, uh, what's the story? <laughs> uh, right, so the 18-year-old the sheepdog is going to be our calf. So yeah. you talk us through what's happening. So the, cow, the ca cow, calf is in the, the wheelbarrow. The calf's in the wheelbarrow, bring it in, and we put it up on the scales. Yeah. Then we know pre before we... Uh, have the scales on and all that it's 32 and a half kilos to barrel okay so take that off the calf every calf is weighed yeah every calf okay yeah so easy to do and that's there you have it done in two minutes okay and then we've all our tags here and our iodine the whole lot then the so the calf. calf gets its sort of critical care here iodine yeah. when does it get the bee sting colostrum uh, actually in here as well so okay. before we go for the calf we have the... Um, Unless your radio is kind of... <laughs> Lunt tea is ready, go on, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> we have a tank outside there with hot water. Okay. Bring it in here, we um, do the classroom first before going for the calves. Okay. And um, once that's hot, then feed the calf here to... Is is the cow... Is it, uh, Have you stored colostrum, sorry, Nick? Or yeah. do you actually have... The cow gets... The calf gets the cow's colostrum? No, home? we store colostrum here in the fridge here beside okay. us. So you're the second fridge we have. You have an American fridge here, yeah. and that's where your, yeah. your bag colostrum yeah, is... Yeah, we keep it in the bottles then. And okay. 
So one day and two days, so okay. it keeps alternating. And okay. what we have. Do you market or anything like that? Yeah, yeah, market to what then bricks test it is. And all right, so it's all like. bricks tested. And what yeah. does the calf get? What, what three uh, litres? 10% of its body weight. So okay. we can tell straight off if it's over the 30 kilos, you can go more than it's 10% or whatever. Oh, so you're actually going body, body weight specifically with yeah, the colostrum? Yeah, you There's not make. an old standard three litres per every calf. No. You're actually no. going for the 10% body weight? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's your calves averaging? About 30 kilos? No, actually, this year we probably went 35, I'd say, on average. Okay. I'd say, so they're getting three and a half litres by stomach yeah, tube? Yeah, Or straight. bottle? Uh, the stomach tube went through the bottle, say, with the long okay. pipe on it. Okay. So. so calf is done here. Our calf is very quiet here. Yeah? Very quiet. So, so where does the calf... Where, we'll go over and talk a little bit about calf rearing then and maybe challenges you've seen. The calf yeah. house is over this calf direction. Calf house is out here, yeah. Right. The, will he leave the dog there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's about to say himself. On, That's then. a great system, isn't it? So let's, we, we actually, Nick, when we were down in the dairy parlour, we saw your new device for Rick's and Milk and you have a big cart, basically an 80-point yeah. cart yeah. for feeding calves. Talk to me a little bit about calf rearing here in the sheds. What are some of the challenges you're seeing? What are some of the things you're focused on? Yeah, so literally if we bring the calf over here, we use the small gates yeah. and put three calves into each pen. Okay. Uh, it's freshly bedded and fresh lime on it every time we're changing calves the whole lot. Okay. Um, then it's cleared out and limed again. Okay. And then as cordon as they're hitting maybe three, four days old, we yep. bring them across to Richard's where we've other sheds. Okay. And set them out to their different pens then for heifers. Are they on transition milk in here then? Transition milk All here. transition milk yeah. for three or four days. Yeah. When they're settled in, they go on to... The other, uh, uh, other, the powdered in, yeah. and a big feeder. Basically, Bowser drive in, yeah. calves around it. Any issues getting on 80 calves onto a big Bowser or? No, no. no. It's grand, it's straightforward enough. Now, we use the 10 teats feeders for a couple of weeks to okay. go on and then. And then to the Bowser. Yeah. Yeah, so. um, what have you learned about calf rearing? What are some of the challenges you see? What are, uh, I'm going to ask you about your experience with microbes, but what are the things that maybe traditionally you've seen that you're not seeing anymore, you've improved on, or uh, if you were to think your top two or three things for calves, what are they that to, to rear healthy calves? Well, to go in, obviously to feed the microbes, we find a huge benefit, but then we also go with Tolercol and Nasum then at six days of age. Okay. Um, and then we'll also keep Fresh straw and plenty of straw. Okay. Go and spare the straws. Well. Okay. Yeah, that's a, yeah. Good, that's a good attitude. So, so, so uh, uh, an old vet that I work with said to me a long time ago when I qualified, he said straw solves a lot of problems. It does, yeah. yeah so, yes, so plenty straw. Uh, what kind of level of milk feeding are you with the cows? How, how much milk are they getting? Uh, two and a half litres more than an evening then. Okay. So no real issues then with cows per se at all? No, we actually had a great season this season. Okay. No problems probably until the last couple of weeks there. Okay bits of pieces creeped in then but you uh, have some Bruce said to me you you have you had some comparisons with the precision microbes you use microbes on heifers and uh, on the heifers not on the bulls what did you see uh, um, from a from a I suppose a practical point of view what were the, the differences were they positive or negative as I crossed my finger no, yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah we'd know actually blow it around to okay. and it was a better shine off the heifers we okay. found too um, I think we had a couple of cases with blows with the bulls, but none with the uh, with the heifers. heifers as such. So you've been happy with the microbes, yeah. easy to feed and, uh, yeah. and very good. Yeah. So talk to me then, and we're going to go and talk about uh, uh, parasites next. When do the calves actually go out here? When do you try and get them out from the sheds? When are they are they weaned outside? They are weaned outside generally now. This year was an exception. But okay. But did you manage to still get them out? Uh, no, we're only out there the last maybe okay. week or so. Okay. Um, but probably generally we'd have them out last year, we'd have them out in February at about three or four weeks of age. Okay. So okay. it just depends on your year to, to get them out. Nick, um, as a farm manager, I just want to ask you this question. You're, you've got your, we were talking to Bruce about team. Uh, how important is it to work in a farm like this where the environment is that, I suppose there's a real team uh, spirit here. Everyone's opinion is valued. Um, uh, that's huge, isn't it? It is. It's a big thing. Like, and when everyone can have the crack and the whole lot and still be serious, yeah, yeah. and they know what the job has to be done, that's a 
huge thing like uh, yeah it's a it's a great it's a great working environment you're yeah. doing a great job you have a great attitude so yeah. thank you very much for talking through calf rearing yeah. uh, and uh, and giving me some positive feedback on microbes that could have gone very badly if you did <laughs> negative but i would have cut it out anyway yeah, yeah, <laughs> thanks very it. much Perfect. nick no, <laughs> cheers done. well i actually probably want i actually would wouldn't mind driving it what, what's this baby bruce it's uh, suzuki jimny it's got these are kind of iconic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is iconic, it's, huh? <laughs> it's, a, it's a pregnant roller skate. Right. Uh, what engine's on it? It's a 1.4 litre. Right. Raw power. <laughs> <laughs> Just those calves there, Bruce. I was talking to, obviously, Nick about microbes. You said to me that, you know, what, like, I was asking about weights. It was, you know, the bulls were, were gone before, they were sold before you could com do any weight comparisons. Yeah. But the heifers, what was your own experience with the microbes and heifers? Um, yeah, so we, we, ha we have a sick bay on the farm. Yeah. That we, we'd pull out calves. If, there, if there's any sick calves, they're, they're going to sick bay and they're, they're looked after in there. Mm. Um, we never had any heifers in it. Okay. And at one stage, it was eight calves, and none, none of those calves have gotten microbes. Okay. And were they scour bits of pneumonia, it, little bits of basis? Uh, it wasn't pneumonia, no. It was, we don't, we were very, it was a very good year now with pneumonia. Oh, okay. But, but uh, no, it was a bit of scour. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, a bit, a bit of dehydration. Okay. So, so but generally, you, you, you don't have sick calves, but the heifers went on, and management was the same in both groups. Correct. Yeah, yeah 100%. Yeah. So, there was something else was different. Okay. So, we're heading back now to look at dung beetles. <laughs> 